That's what I like about them high school girls. I get older, they stay the same age. <laughs> yes, they do. Oh, that was horrible. Fucking creepy. Greetings and welcome to another edition of Throwback Thursday Movie Reviews. I'm Philip Acevedo. Now, if you're like me and if you live in Southern California, then you would know that the weather is getting hot. It is getting a little too hot already, so summer is pretty much already here, right? I don't know when the official date starts, but summer is pretty much here. So I figured, for hey, for Throwback Thursday Movie Review, how about we just recommend you a summer movie? And I picked one of my favorite summer movies to watch. That is Dazed and Confused. This movie is directed by Richard Linklater and stars a whole bunch of people that we did not know at the time, but they blossomed into being one of the best well-known actors that we have today like Ben Affleck, Matthew McConaughey, Mia Jovovich. Let's talk about the story. The story is very simple to follow. It takes place in the late 70s, last day of high school. We follow multiple groups of teenagers. Some are very rowdy and obnoxious. Some are actually very intelligent and smart. And you, of course, you got your pot smokers, you got your hard knockers. They're all a bunch of teenagers. Some are brand new freshmen and some are outgoing seniors. And some are seniors that just got held back many times. And you also got guys like Matthew McConaughey who are hanging out with high school students even though you're already in your late 20s, early 30s. I don't know how old Matthew McConaughey was at the time. Some group of students are planning a big party at this one dude's house, but it doesn't go out as planned, so they go out to the moon tower, party at the moon tower. Others are like, hey, you know what? Let's stop playing chess like a bunch of nerds, and let's go hang out with the cool kids. Let's go out to the party. Let's go drink some beer. Let's go listen to some Alice Cooper. Let's go listen to all that stuff. It's a cool movie. It's a really cool summer movie to watch. It's a bunch of teenagers just doing teenager stuff. It's really cool. It's just... It exposes the culture of what teenagers were like in the 70s. What I like about this movie is that we don't focus on just one character. There are many characters that we all follow that doesn't require so much backstory. What we see on screen, we remember immediately, which is I really like about this movie a lot. You have Pink, who's a star football player who's really contemplating of whether or not to return for the next season or if he's done with football or if he just wants to live his life the way he wants it to live. He's tired of this structured football varsity uh, atmosphere. He just wants to say, fuck it, man. I want to start drinking. I want to start partying. I want to live my life. I'm tired of all these coaches yelling in my ear and stuff. I'm done. I'm through with it. And then you follow the freshman who is brand new to the whole high school scene. He's very straight out of junior high school. Doesn't know what the hell he's doing. And now he's following the seniors already because of his older sister and some connections and Ben Affleck's whippings and stuff like that. He's immediately accepted. He goes party with Matthew McConaughey and the rest of the seniors. And you have Slater who pretty much just smokes pot the entire time of the movie. I should give him a little bit more credit than that. When he smokes pot, funny dialogue comes out of his mouth. Some memorable quotes come up. You cool, man? All right, check you later. When I explain the story that way, I know what it sounds like. A bunch of teenagers who are doing random activities in Texas, last day of high school, you got an incoming freshman, outgoing seniors. It sounds very simple, but yes, it's simple, but the movie itself is very gripping. You fall in love with these characters, every single one of them. Even the douchebag ones, like Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck is just like this lovable, hateful guy, and I seriously think Ben Affleck gave one of the best performances ever when he got creamed on and he's so pissed. You can feel his anger just evaporating out into the atmosphere. It sounds awesome. The movie itself is structured very well. You got great dialogue, which I think is the key to this movie, is the dialogue itself. You got the directing, you have L Richard Linklater behind the camera. Later on, he does a scanner darkly, and then you guys, boyhood. Richard Linklater's been in the business for a long time, if you guys haven't noticed already. But the movie itself, Days and Confused, it's just so memorable with the quotes, the, the thematics, the music. This movie is not your average teen movie. In fact, I gotta say, it's probably one of the best teen movies out there. If you grew up in that era, if you grew up in the 70s, if you listened to rock and roll back in your day and drank Budweiser's and stuff like that, then this movie might hit some nostalgia points for you, which is a cool thing. It's funny, you care about the characters a lot, the music, it's so, it's, so, it's a fun movie, it's so cool, it's so memorable, it's very well directed, very well written, it's got so many thematic elements about growing up in high school. Well, high school was tough, let's admit it. High school was a tough time to be a kid, but hey, 
it's fun at the end of the day you learn it's all it's all good man high school was high school but just wait until you get adulthood kids just wait until you get into adulthood <laughs> we've seen the john hughes teen movies back in the 80s now early 90s he introduces to a simple teenage movie that takes place in summer last day of high school and all we do is follow these random group of teenagers and just do random activities it's that simple but the execution was very well done when it comes to rating Dates and Confused, I gotta give it a 5 out of 5. It's that simple. The movie had comedy, it had drama, it had a little bit of action with that, the scene at the liquor store. You know, you know what I'm talking about, yeah. And it had some unforgettable performances. The dialogue itself just was probably the key element to this movie. Oh, you also got the music, everything, the setting, the cars, everything fits so well. It was very well executed. That's why it's 5 out of 5. That simple. Boom. So, Dates and Confused, have you seen it? What is your favorite part of the movie? Who is your favorite? favorite character? What is your favorite Richard Linklater movie? Let me know in the comments below. And if you have not seen Days and Confused, go see it. It's fun. It's a great movie and it's probably one of the best summer movies to watch. If you like this video and you want to see more, go ahead and click the subscribe button so you can watch more videos. Also, follow our blog at axialskeleton.wordpress.com. Thanks for watching this video. Stay cool out there. It's actually pretty hot. So until then, stay focused, stay sharp, and Axial on. Say, so, hey, man, you got a joint? Uh, no, not on me, man. <laughs> It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs>